Let's take a look at how to interpret line graphs. The government has the graph below that shows how many women are working in manual labor jobs. Which year has the most women in manual labor jobs? Okay, we'll take a look at our graph. You can see that the years are along the horizontal axis. Okay, we actually call that our X axis. And that the number of women, okay, I'm gonna write that in on my graph here, the number of women is shown on the vertical side, which we call our Y axis. Okay, so if we wanna know which year had the most women in manual labor jobs, well, since the women are on this side, right, the higher up that point is, the, mo the more women it's gonna have. So if I scan through my graph here for just a moment, Notice I have a point here at a y value of 80, 70, 50, 30, and 70. Now, when I click on these points, they are telling me the coordinates, but normally if this was on a piece of paper, for example, you would have to read across, right? We could say, okay, well, this point is right above 1950, so we know it's for the year 1950. And if we read across, it's at 80. Okay, so in the year 1950, there were 80 women. In the year 1960, okay, if I go straight up from 1960, that puts me at this point. And you can see that that was less. It's halfway between 60 and 80, so that would be 70 women. Okay, and you can see that these are going to be even smaller at 1970. If you read across, it's between 40 and 60, so that would be about 50. In 1980, if you read across, it's between 20 and 40, so that would be about 30. And in 1990, it looks like it's right around 70 again. Okay, so we can see the most women was 80 women in 1950. Okay, and if I clear all of this off, you can kind of see that by just saying, well, which point is the highest up, right? Nothing else is as high up as this point here with the value of 80. Use the graph below to find out which year had the highest number of tiger poachings. Okay, well again, I can see that the years are written along here as they move from left to right, or on the x-axis, and I can see that the number of poachings is on my y-axis, meaning it's, get, it's going up and down. Okay, so which year had the most? Well, if I scan across my graph, I can see that my highest point up is all the way over here, right? And if you just, if you even fill that in, you can see nothing else reaches that height as we have in 2014, okay? And if I read across, and I'm just kind of showing you the dots to show my thinking here, I'm going straight across the screen, and I can see that my dot has a height or a Y coordinate halfway in between 60 and 80, so that would be about 70. Okay, so that was our highest value in the year 2014. And again, to see the year, I can read straight down from that point to see that it's at 2014. The government has a graph below that shows how many women are working in manual labor jobs. Which year had the most women in manual labor jobs? All right, well, doing a quick scan, I have a point here, 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 and here. This point looks like it's the highest up on my graph. So that point would correspond to the year with the most women. Okay, so if I read down to my x-axis, I can see the year is 1970 at that point. And if I read across to my y-axis, I can see that there were 80 women in manual labor jobs. Okay, so 1970 was the year with the most women in manual labor jobs. Ella graphs how many followers she has on social networks over a few months. In which month did she have the most followers? Okay, well, looking at my points, okay, January, February, March, April, and May, I can see that the highest point up is this one. So that would be the month of February, 
And if I wanted to know how many followers, I of course could read across here and see that she had 80 followers. So she had the most followers, her highest number of 80, in the month of February. A company distributes the following graph that shows yearly income. Which year did they make the most? Okay, well, if I look at my points, the year that they made the most is going to be the point that's highest up. The highest up point is right here. So if I read straight down to see what year that was, I can see that that happened in the year 2000. And if I needed to know how many or how much money they made, I could read across. But in this case, I only need to know the year. So they made the most money in the year 2000. Use the graph below to find out which year had the highest number of tiger poachings. Okay, well looking at my graph, I can see that my highest point or my maximum is up here. Okay, well since the years are written across from left to right, I have to read straight down from that point to see what year that happened. Okay, so that highest number happened in the year 2012. And of course, if I needed to know how many, I could also read straight across and see that there were 100 tiger poachings that year. But in this case, they only asked for the year, so 2012. 